I never know how to start. Whoa, okay, we'll start off with that note. So, um, it's been about a full year. There's some deer poop right in the driveway. No, it's deer. I watch the deer poop here. That is rabbit poop. They can't hear you. Anyways, what's a, what's it what's it called when you make something because people wanted you to? Popular demand or something. So I've been getting a ton of emails, Facebook messages, uh, letters. I've had a few people show up at my doorstep begging for part two. So <laughs> we're a year it's a year later put about 3,000 in this thing. Visually, I have not changed it much. It's all been trying to get it to run the way it was intended to from the factory. Uh, spews oil, at least it used to. And so, just kind of been getting it fixed up a little bit, so figured we'd go over that. Uh, to start off, last year, purchased this car. It had these old and busted wheels on them. I got new tires. The tires were shot, but uh, basically it had these on them. They're extremely heavy, and I don't like them that much. So, you'll notice right off the bat, if you got any eyesight remaining, the front is different than the back, and that's because I bought a full set of these wheels back here, which are the, the S88s, and we went ahead and uh, had a bent one in the package. So, thank you, Facebook. That guy probably knew, but he was just a turd. And I didn't check, so I couldn't find any replacement parts, like barrel, like outer pieces or anything to redo the wheel itself. So I got annoyed and just bought two brand new wheels off the internet, and uh, we're going staggered now. And these wheels, if you're really curious what they are, they're the Mo Modi Gi Racing. The racing part's really all that matters, so you know that they're serious business, and they're pretty wide. Uh, we got the 235-40-17s. Both wheels take the same tire size. And these are specifically the 94Y. Now, the Z model, you don't want to mess around with that. That's for kind of lower-end cars. So I went ahead and got the Y additions. And uh, so in terms of just making the car easier to live with, I got a new windshield. Uh, somebody in the past, I guess, parked this under a tree for six years and then got in and cranked the windshield wipers as hard as they could for an hour straight. So I had a bunch of engravements in it and uh sunroof was leaking everywhere. It smelled like rotting cornbread in there. So we made sure to color match it because I didn't want it to kind of stand out and look strange like it had been modded. So uh yeah. color huh? We modded. modded. We color matched it. So it blends in pretty good. Looks OEM. Uh inside here I did a full headliner delete, so we got bare metal. You know, if you hit a jump or something, you can impale your head off of a screw. Uh, gigantic mirror. I just didn't feel like buying an OEM one that actually connects properly. Sometimes that falls off, but usually you're good to go. Um, did a, re a radio delete. The speakers weren't really working. The radio was like some aftermarket 2002 piece of crap, so I went ahead and Gave that the old yeet and took it out of there. Um, besides that, haven't really done any other stuff in here. Um, my girlfriend, Chili, she's very shy. But she does do a good amount of dance moves for me <laughs> in here. Um, nothing in... Oh, my goodness. That's so gross. I can't crawl as many rocks and logs with the OEM suspension, but we did lower it a couple inches. Now, these are a big deal. These brake calipers, they're known for gripping super tight after you get go ahead and spray paint them with a the red low spray paint. So now they are biting hard. They're pretty much equivalent to Brembo's, maybe a little bit under. Um, so we'll go ahead and take a look at the hatch here. Um, I did retitle the vehicle as a Ferrari. So that goes that I, since I did that, it bumps the value up pretty significantly. So this used to be about like $8,000 car. We're looking at anywhere between $30,000 to $100,000 with that badge upgrade and retitlement. I got a decent amount of black soot occurring in this area. Um, there's a few factors that may be a part of this. It's burning oil for sure. Uh, and it also, I think, runs decently rich. So like it, I like it though. 
it looks like a diesel and you can kind of like write messages for people behind you when you're doing your ride arounds with your friends and stuff um on top here we got the uh, i got a little easter egg that i just put in to kind of just show the car's state not very happy right now um but i'll go ahead and pop this this uh hatch for you <clears throat> So we did a lot of weight savings back here. Um, I I was really uh, particular about how I wanted all this to look. So I started off by just pulling all of the plastic out. And then in all the spots where there's significant rust, I went ahead and added some rust repairing spray foam that I got from the store. The guy said it should uh, fill it in pretty well. Uh, when it rains, you do have a nice water feature in this area. And that's in case you get stranded out in the desert and you need to drink. You got water source back here. Your radiator goes low. You can siphon it up to the front. I got this nice strut bar back here. I put a pedal bike in here a couple times and beat the crap out of it. But uh, yeah, new new uh, actual struts for the hatch so it opens better. And yeah, this whole hatch is just completely rusting, but it'll be fine. Um, so we'll go ahead and go over the engine bay now. Um, I wanted a way to have this hood on and off easily because i really like driving around without the hood i think it's kind of cool so that's where these these pins come in and they're pretty simple to pull out as you can see uh we got the external squirters here and that's in case you're out in the snowstorm and you can't get this windshield defrosted because it's got the 1999 heater system and it's garbage and there's rats in it so I got this set up. I can squirt gas at a blink of an eye out of here. Hold the lighter out the window. Your snow is gone. So it works pretty good. And I don't have a hood hood prop. But I'll just stand here and hold it. Um, painted some stuff. Put some new stuff on. I mean, this is all painted now, but it's also rusting a little under there. But you can't tell. This hood's in really good shape, though. So... That's why I was really careful when I drilled all my holes for my pins uh, to make sure not to leave like any exposed metal or anything that's going to rust more than it already is. Um, but yeah, so we've got the quick release hood. You see guys driving around with their quick release wheels, steering wheels, and they really think they're something. But uh, around here, I don't like to play around. So we got the quick release hood system. I put this one upside down so it's a little rusty for some reason, but... Basically, you pull out all your pins, and you want to be really careful lifting this up and down because you don't want to scratch your car. Pro. <sighs> and then just find somewhere to shag it. Oh, she saw a reflection. So usually I just gently set my hood on this rock pile. And I really like the way this looks. No hood. It's kind of just... A cool setup. Um, big old intake there. It makes all the stew stew sounds, and I'll, I'll put them in at some point. But uh, yeah, headers kind of change the uh, sound of the exhaust a little bit. I hope they flow better because they certainly sound a little bit worse, in my opinion. They're a little bit more raspy, but I also don't have any, any muffling technologies on this exhaust. So yeah, that's about it. Um, so this, this entire front bumper cover is held on with zip ties now. There's nothing remaining that used to hold it on. But repainted the intercooler. And uh, yeah. So in the future, I'll either uh, one, sell it. Two, treat it correctly and fully redo it and fix all the garbage. Or three, turn it into an exo car and just cut it up and make a bunch of people angry. But yeah. So that's all. See you in another year.